Hello, everyone. How are we? I'm doing wonderfully. Hello, Brody. Thanks for being here. Hello, impotent grandma. <laughs> Thank you for being a first time chatter. Um, everybody, I am over the freaking moon to start platinum with you today. Um, I am a little bit under the weather right now, but I really wanted to stream, so I'm excited. Um, and the intro is starting over again. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm really hyped as well, but, uh, even though I'm not feeling very well right now, I wanted to stream, and I wanted to start this, because I figured that would make me feel good and better. Um, I hope you like the setup here. I kind of tinkered with it a little bit, and I decided to make the second screen smaller um, because a lot of kind of like walking around looked too small um, when I had it the other way. But if you prefer it to be like perfectly even, like both are the same size, um, just let me know. And I'll finally get rid of this uh, title screen here. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So this is a new game. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, we have our boy, Rowan. Um, he is the professor of Pokemon Platinum. Um, and it's so great. He deals with Pokemon Evolution. I like him a lot. Um, he's able to give us some advice, but we don't need any info. We, we, we know what's going on. Ah, uh, yes, and I can touch the Pokeball. I don't have a stylus, so I'm just going to touch it with my mouse there. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but, uh, oh, it looks like a man with a square head and rectangle body. I get it. That is a Baneary, a new Pokemon. Very excited about that. Um, I conduct research. All right, so we have kind of some boiler boilerplate Pokemon intro stuff. Um, he's going to ask if we're a boy or a girl. I usually always pick the boy. Yes. I'm having tea delivered to me right now. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. My wife lovingly delivering me tea, which is very kind of her. Um, It's too hot. Um, let's see. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go with um, ba -da -da -da, the boy. We're going to go for the boy. Yes. A weather station. I oh, are you getting an ad? <laughs> um, so we'll just call ourselves SCG, as we have been customarily doing. Absolutely it is. Um, all right, so this is SCG, a fine name that is. Oh yeah. Um, does anyone have a name for our rival? Um, I, for whatever reason, his, uh, I have always called him Gary. I don't know why, because that's the rival in the generation one anime. Um, canonically, this dude's name is Barry, which is why it's the first one on the list. Not Ziggy, literally not Ziggy. That's what you want to be the name. GCG. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Brody. Do you, what do you want us to name the rival? If anyone has any rival names, I'll just go to new name. Ba -da 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 -da. Gold Cave Gaming. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna do that. GCG. I like that. That's our rival. I love that. That's funny. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Alright. Our very own Pokemon journey is about to unfold. This is so great. Um, ah, I really like the intro to this game. 
You, you start out watching a television. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region, or Kanto, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, Professor Rowan was on TV, which is great. Ugh. And here's our rival. His whole thing is that he has absolutely no chill and he runs everywhere. He is kind of annoying, but it does kind of get charming after a while. Mmm. I do love him. Oh, right, right, right. We're gonna see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. All right. Ah, uh, yes, another bit that he has is if you're late, he'll find you money. Ugh. Oh. And in our room, we have a Wii. The Nintendo Wii. What an era that was. Um, I'm pretty sure there should be a potion in our PC that we can grab. Ooh, but maybe not yet. Ah, uh, yes. We do not have our bag yet. Let's head downstairs. Um... Ha ha ha! GCG already left. So now we're just kind of in some beginning of the game stuff. Um, ah, don't go into tall grass, of course. We know that already. But, kind of one of the big deals with this game, as you can see, things are, it is still like top down, but things are kind of in 3D now. Like you can like, like walk behind the house like that, you see? Everything is just a little bit more three-dimensional here in Generation 4. Um, Pokemon Platinum, I think, is one of the greatest Pokemon games ever made. Um, I think a lot of people could argue that it's the best. Um, like I said, for me, probably Emerald and Platinum are objectively the best ones. Um, but I'm so excited to get into it. It is very different from Diamond and Pearl. This made a lot of improvements on Diamond and Pearl. Oh, it's your third favorite, Brody? I forget your first two. This is our rival's house. He should be right here. Yep. And he just thuds. Let's see. Oh, geez, I forgot something. And sometimes the Generation 4 ROMs can be a little testy. So just uh, just bear with me, because there might be like a like a mark or two um, as we move along. Um, excuse me, but uh, it should be all right. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you're telling me, Brody. Um, Brody's talking about how they famously made remakes of diamond and pearl rather than of platinum even though many agree that platinum is the you know the superior way to play the game so our boy uh, gcg wants to go into the tall grass um and we know we're not supposed to do that but he's gonna try to he's gonna try to cheese it he's just gonna try to run away before any pokemon can 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 get to him which is a bad and reckless idea as our friend Professor Rowan can attest. Also, Rowan's theme here, it is scholarly, it is adventurous, yet stately. It is a perfect theme for Professor Rowan. I really like his theme. Um, so he's just like, uh, hi, why are you doing that? Because that's really stupid. <laughs> hmm. So this dude's just like, do I give these two boys Pokemon? I mean, like, they it seems like they really want them. You can ask a hundred times, the answer will never change. We'll always love Pokemon. That's right, dude. That is right. All right. Oh. And then Professor Rowan is just like, that seems like a reckless attitude. But then our boy is just like, well, if you won't give it to me, give it to my friend which is so nice, and it impresses Professor Rowan. He says, how big of you? I'll entrust both of you with Pokemon. That seems like such a nice thing you were about to do. So, folks, as I normally do... Oh, here's Dawn. 
Dawn is the professor's assistant. She's lovely. She wears a beanie, famously. Um, let's see. And she's a big character in the Gen 4 anime, as I understand it. All right. So he's talking about how everyone should meet Pokemon and they should explore the world together because it's a big, beautiful world. And I agree, honestly. Um, <laughs> thanks, buddy. So now we have this briefcase. This whole thing plays out a bit differently in the original Diamond and Pearl. So, oh, oh, baby. That briefcase opening is so satisfying. All right, so we have three options here. Um, as I have traditionally done, I, of course, have my team completely planned out of what we're gonna have. Um, yes, SCG is smarter than GCG, it's true. Um, and folks, our options are the Tiny Leaf Pokemon Turtwig, the Chimp Pokemon Chimchar, or the Penguin Pokemon Piplup. Now, I know you all have your favorites. And I have mine. Can you guess? I'll give you a minute. Today, our starter is going to be... Turtwig. I love Turtwig! He's wonderful. Mmm. Yes. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. They're much like you as fellow newcomers to the world. I hope you'll do well together. Oh, how lovely. His his lab is in the next town over. Yes, Brody. Um, it is so interesting because I... The, the grass starter is usually always... Usually the one I gravitate to. I think like the majority of starters that I love the most are the grass starters. Oh yeah, our first battle. Oh. Oh, and he has such a fun little theme, very fit for a little spazzy McGee like him. Mm. All right, buddy, let's do this thing. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, this is actually back on my emulator that I have traditionally used. Um, I actually used a different emulator um, for Emerald um, because I needed one that could play Game Boy Advance games because the one that I usually use for some reason the sound wasn't working on my Game Boy Advance games. But Generation 4, as we know, released for the Nintendo DS. Um, Okay, good. Wasting your time with Lear. Um, so my DS game sound will work on this emulator. And with that, we claim victory. Hmm. All the fire types would be gone if this was Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl famously did not have any fire types in the Pokedex. Hardly any fire types in the Pokedex. Platinum definitely gives us some more options, which is great. All right. <sighs> Generation 4 is so lovely. How is the music, by the way? Is the music just right? Could it be louder? Hmm. What's the matter, dear? Oh, you and GCG are lucky to have met Professor Owen. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Um, let's see. Oh, it's good? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Game Freak, <laughs> for just two more. Um, yeah, that's true. I guess they still don't have that many options. Um, all right, so we can go see Professor Rowan in Sand Gem Town, which is lovely. Um, oh, and our mom gives us the running shoes. How delightful. Mm. And she'll read the instructions. They work much like Generation 3. All you have to do is hold the B button. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes, my bag, my, hold on. 
give me one moment, folks. Um, let's see. I know my controls are a little bit different here on a DS game. Um, yeah, sorry. Give me a moment. Um, ba -ba -ba -da. Let me check the my DS settings. X. Oh, no. I don't want that to be that. Um, that'll be, that, okay, that should be fine, let's see if that works, perfect, okay, sorry, I didn't know where my pause menu was, because the buttons are just a little different on the DS, so with this, we can save our game for the first time, because I have anxiety, uh, this always gives you this saving a lot of data, Generation 4 was kind of notorious for this, and the save action takes a very weirdly long time to happen when it says this, but it's alright. We're still having fun, right? <laughs> alright. Um, oh, let me check. Our church wig is a boy. Brody, thank you for asking. Um... So I think it didn't ask us if we wanted to name Turtwig, I don't think. Um, okay, so there's still no item in there. Um, so we should be able to name the Turtwig, I think, when we talk to Professor Rowan later. And if not, I'll definitely write down whatever name you give me, and we will name it when we can. All right. So now, <laughs> our friend GCG is just kind of waiting, um, and he wants to go to this lake where we always play, and he thinks that there is a legendary Pokemon that lives there. So, we are traveling in a little group like this, which is super cute, and this is actually something that will come up later um, that we will see, which I really like. Um, and we can pop in here where the lake is. There's kind of like a little hollow in these trees. Beautiful music here. Oof. Mmm, so good. Um, and there's actually an interesting fellow here by the lakefront. The flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name, remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Do you think that's foreshadowing something? I don't know. I don't know. It might be. It might be foreshadowing for what's to come. He might be a, a, a bit of a shady character. Especially the way he says, allow me to pass, step aside. I mean, that's just a little bit rude. Say please, my guy. Anyway. Ah, the legendary Pokemon. He heard it. Autumn! For our Turtwig. I love it. Um, that is great. I'm excited about it. Um, we don't have anything on us. Yes, so we can't catch anything without Pokeballs, does our friend um, say. So now we're going to go to the professor's lab, and he's just like, I remember he told us that he could give us something if we needed it. So in the original game, the way... Um, in the original Diamond and Pearl, the way that you get your starter is that little patch of grass where Cyrus was standing. There is Professor Rowan's briefcase, like, unattended, and you go check it out, and then you get attacked by some wild bird Pokemon. And then you have to pick one of the starters and kind of fend them off, much like um, the Generation 3 opening was, where you kind of had to hastily pick a starter to fight off the wild Pokemon that you would had encountered, but in this game, it's much more chill. Um, okay. So now we're hopping over to Sand Gem Town, and we're gonna see some of our first wild Pokemon of the run, right in the last patch. 
And this is the legendary Bidoof. It is the normal, kind of regular, early route Pokemon that you see in this game. It is an HM Master. It's glorious. It is doofy and goofy in the exact correct ways. Bidoof is lovely and we love him. Um, but now, we have made it to Sand Gem Town. Hmm. <laughs> And our friend GCG is already just too fast for his britches. Um, oh, thank you, Ethan. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> he's not so much scary as he is totally out there, man. Um, yes. So now we're heading inside. Oh, and the muted version. Oh, with the piano. Oh, so lovely. Just another cool little version of Rowan's theme there. Oh, hello. Um, this is just a normal play uh, playthrough, Ethan. Um, we're just having a lovely time kind of experiencing, experiencing Platinum um, for those who just love the vibes of the original game or have uh, not seen it before. Um, all right, Brody. Your time to shine is now. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. How's it going? Thank you for being here. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. We would like to give it a nickname. And again, Brody, you like you said Autumn, so we'll go with Autumn. I don't know why I went up there. Wrong way. There we go. Oh, it's your favorite Pokemon game. I do not blame you, friend. Um, this is certainly one of my favorites as well. I have kind of long said that um, really the third versions, Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, that is like my holy trinity of Pokemon games. Um, I am happy with that nickname, Professor. Thank you. <laughs> I was astounded by these foolhardy children. Oh. You're right, Brody. This Pokemon's not getting boxed. Mm. Also, do you like my mug? I actually really like this mug. Uh, this is a Gilmore Girls reference for the uninitiated. Luke Steiner. Luke and Lorelai forever. All right. Let's see. Oh, I will cherish this church wig of mine, Professor. <laughs> oh, I just can't say it. Oh, okay. And now here's his regular theme. And he's going to kind of give us our main goal that all of the other professors do. Um, where he's going to give us a Pokedex and he will we will record data on Pokemon for him, which is really nice of us. Um, and we're having a great time with it. It's going to be lovely. Sorry, pardon me. I'm kind of scrolling down to look at something that I wrote. Um... Ah, uh, yes. Okay. It will automatically record data. Uh, this is actually kind of different. The Pokedex works a little bit differently in Generation 4, whereas in other games, it will only record data on Pokemon that you catch um, or own in some way. Um, but in Generation 4, you actually get info on Pokemon just by seeing them, which is interesting. Da, da, da. Oh, hello, Brody. Um, yes, you can hear my perfect chicken noise. I will warn everybody that is uh, watching or listening that it is a little bit loud. So I'm about to do my perfect chicken noise now for the un un uninitiated. Here you go. <clears throat> there you have it. Um, oh, one of your best friends loves Gilmore Girls so much that she named her daughter Lorelai. That is cute. I love that. It also helps that Lorelei is a Pokemon name as well. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. And Professor Rowan is just really hyping up our adventure here. He's just like, go have fun, bro. Just go have fun. Um. Ah, oh, Dawn. Dawn is just delightful. 
Um, just a nice, just a nice young gal. Um, so now we can kind of be on our way, um, at least here in a minute, after we kind of get done with some of these tutorial cutscenes. Oh, crazy in this game. Right at the beginning of the game, they give you TM-27, which is the TM for return, which is actually a very good move, especially to get this early. Um, I guess they decide to give it to you because it's based on friendship and it won't be that powerful yet. So I actually kind of like the kind of like the ethos of what they're trying to do here. Um, but it is a very good TM to get at the very beginning of the game, literally your first one. So it's cool. Hmm. All right. Ah, was he a trainer? You good? Um, who will be our Ziggy this time? I mean, Brody. I don't. I think there's only one answer to that question. We are. We already met one. So Don's just talking to us about the Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center is there. Pokemon Mart's there. Center's got a red, orange roof. Center uh, Mart's got a blue roof. It's pretty, pretty chill. Pretty regular. Ah, yes, so I gotta hop back home and let my mom know what's going on. Alright. But I'll jump up here as well. Ah! Really nice theme in the mart. Um, we're gonna buy a few things. We're gonna buy two potions. Two antidotes. I like to buy two kind of of every early item here in case you really need something. Um, and I'll buy a couple Pokeballs too. We're gonna get some for free here in a minute, but it's nice to have some. Alright. So let's hop over here. I am going to save now. Uh, my buttons are just in slightly different spots. So I'll, I'll get used to that eventually. All right. You know, this part of the game is just one of my favorite parts. Every time I start a new Pokemon game over, and they're just endlessly replayable, because depending on what you choose, you can just make such a unique journey for yourself every time. It's so delightful. Um, but these, just this early going portion where everything is just kind of wide open and you don't know what you're going to do, um, it's just really nice and really fun, and I enjoy it every time. Ah, uh, yes. So we're just telling our mom that we're going to be chilling out. And she gives us a journal. I'm probably not going to use it. I don't know if I ever have. But it does keep a record of what we do. Um, no, Brody. <laughs> I can tell you right now, we're not doing a Munchlax. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Munchlax is a new evolution of Snorlax introduced in Generation 4, and it is, um, I think literally the rarest wild Pokemon to find in a game, just because of the method that you use to do it, and I'll talk about more, more about that later. Um, so she's looking for GCG... Ah, yes. Headstrong and reckless as always. And I gotta give him a letter, I believe. Oh, a parcel, not a letter. Alright. Straight to Jubilife City. Brody, honestly, the Feebass hunt is absolutely nothing compared to trying to find a Munchlax. Um, the Feebass hunt is child's play compared to finding a Munchlax. Ooh. And here's a new friend, Starly. This is the bird regional Pokemon of the Sinnoh region, where we have Generation 4 here. Um, it is one of the mid-tier birds, I would I would say. I do like it. I do like its final evolution. I think it's very cool. Um, we'll see lots of Starlies and its evolution in our time. Um, yes, dude, finding Munchlax is impossible. Um, just because you just have to do a very, 
like specific set of actions to make it happen. Um, so here in Sand Gem Town, um, if you go south, you have a nice little beach area, hence why they call it Sand Gem Town. I'll pick up this item. An antidote, lovely. Um, and uh, we'll be able to explore that a little bit later. Um, but once we pop up here, we see our friend Dawn, and she is going to give us a little catching tutorial, which is nice. Um, and she'll give you uh, some Pokeballs as well. After she subjects you to this. And folks, I, I really was worrying about the setup that I have here with like the big top screen and the little small screen. I feel like it's working pretty well. Do we do we like this setup? You can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, <laughs> I guess you could say that, Brody. have it. She caught herself a Bidoof. It's good, thanks. Appreciate that. I, I, I like it too. Hmm. Perfect. Love it. Isn't it neat? Um, Alright, so she is going to give us some Pokeballs now. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that, Dawn. Giving us a little gift. Very kind. <laughs> Bug in my face. Um... Let's see. So now I'm gonna take some time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch a squad member or two um, because it looks like a lot of the ones that I have planned we're not going to be able to get, excuse me, until a little bit later. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and catch a Bidoof here. Very excited about it. Um, Bidoof is a great HM friend, um, which will be this Bidoof's primary uh, utility for our squad. Um, Oops, missed that tackle. One thing I like about this emulator is that when you use the speed up, the music is a little less harsh and shrill. All right, let's get a, let's get a name loaded up for our friend Bidoof. Barry. Oh, Violet if it's a girl, Gilbert, Gilbert if it's a boy. All right, impotent grandma, you get you get dibs. Brody, you name the starter. <laughs> so we'll go with Gilbert. I love that name for a Bidoof. Before this is a male Bidoof. All right, lovely. Um, let's see, there is one other Pokemon that we can encounter here, um, that I do want to show off at some point. Alright, let's see if I run into one. Oh no, not now. I won't try so hard. Let me just pop down here. And as you can kind of hear, the soundtrack is a bit more advanced um, because in Generation 4, they moved up systems. They went from the Game Boy Advance to the, Nite the Nintendo DS. I mean, obviously, a lot of people prefer... They prefer the soundtrack they prefer, but there's a lot more kind of sonic capabilities here in the DS. So let's just keep on trucking along here. At the beginning of our journey, we have our first trainer, it looks like. Um, I'll let Gilbert get a little, little EXP. All right. Youngster Tristan in this game is his name. Alright, so our friend Gilbert's probably not going to be able to make the kill on this Starly. Oh yeah, we're going to swap out right away. But I did want to switch train him a little bit. Alright, 
And again, I kind of mention this every time, but one thing that I really loved about Pokemon games early in my life was how the battle animations got better and better with each passing generation. Um, and this was no exception. When I saw the battle animations here, I just loved it. I just loved it. Um, yeah, uh, Brody just kind of made an observation that is famous about the Generation 4 games. It's said a lot that, gen that the Generation 4 games run very slowly. Like, some of the turns will take a bit longer, you might notice, and some of the HP bars will go down very slowly. Um, and that's a big criticism for this generation of Pokemon games. I think the games themselves are great, um, but that is a valid criticism, I would say. And good thing we have some speed up. Alright, so our squad's not looking great, so we'll just go back and heal while we can. Perfect. Lovely. Do 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 Lovely. We'll probably see another trainer, yep, right here. I'll go ahead and save as well. Why not? After all, why not? As the Lord of the Rings meme goes. Badoof. Badoof v Badoof. Hers is probably going to get the best of us here. Might be able to get a couple tackles in. Oh, there we go. How about three? Speed tie. Okay. We'll go into autumn and finish her out. A lot of tea. I'm switching to water. Can't skip him. He's real far away. Alright, let's see how we do. Ah, a Burmy! This is a new Pokemon. It is a kind of like a bug bagworm type Pokemon. Kind of similar to Pineco, if you remember from our Generation 2 playthrough. I love Pineco very much. Um, but we got a swap. And Burmy is much more of a defensive Pokemon, as you can see. It's kind of got the leaves wrapped around it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, but how was everyone's day today? My day was pretty good. I have had an extraordinarily exhausting week, um, and I think that is why I feel a little bit sick. Um, I'm not. I'm not really feeling my best, but it's it's been a good week. I, it's just been a long one. All right, dude. Oh yeah, the Gen Two references are on top. With me, you will find that there are just always Gen Two references. Oh, but Gilbert died. Oh, jeez, Lord Almighty. Okay, good. Okay. Phew. Oh gosh. Oh, I think he's just going to tell us about jumping over ledges. Um, let me actually save, just in case we get in a weird situation where we can't run out of this grass. Get us a potion. There we go. So here we are. Jubilife City. It is a big city. It's going to look a lot different. Uh, uh, excuse me. So Dawn is going to take us through this beautiful city here. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we see this fella, he's hiding behind some lampposts. This is a Pokemon Platinum Edition. This man, his name is Looker, and he is a detective for the International Police. He is a very lovable character, very kind of like silly, very kind of like Doctor Who in a trench coat. Um, I think he is literally based on Doctor Who, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but Looker is wonderful. Um, he is on the lookout for some shady characters, and he will help us throughout our playthrough. Yes, Don't Be a Thief is familiar to me. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm really hoping you can get some rest, Arena. I, I feel that. You're telling me right now. I feel that. Um, so yeah, Looker's great. He gives us a versus recorder. Again, I probably won't use it. Um, but we can record a match like, like, a lot like how we did in the Battlefront here when we played Emerald. <laughs> I guess I am lonely. No, no, you must inform me of bad guys. <laughs> and then he just runs away. What a delightful man. And she's just like, working for the international police must be hard. Yeah, she wanted to just talk to us about the trainer school. And we can go say hey to GCG in there. But first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heal up because our squad is looking sorry. save as well. I'm going to be hitting the wrong button for a long time to save this game. All right, so um, if I'm not mistaken, what does this guy say? Hello, trainer. Do you know much about Pokemon? Absolutely, I do. Ah, uh, I see. So he is going to talk to me about... Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. We'll do that later. Let's visit the trainer school. <laughs> um, so there is an item in here. I forget what it is. An X attack. That's actually what I thought. Um, so we're gonna pop over here, and this is our friend GCG. He's just here studying the whiteboard, you know, or the blackboard, rather. Um, blackboards aren't really a thing anymore. For you kids in school, they have their whiteboards with the dry erase markers that go on it. But back in the day, they had chalk, and they would draw on blackboards with their chalk. Same, same deal, but different material. Ah, and he gives me a town map. Delightful. Orberg City. Ha, ah, I wonder if that's where the first gym is. We'll see. Ah, yes, he tells us immediately. Ah. So there's some stuff on the board. I don't remember if this is important. Ah, status changes and stuff. Ah, we know all about that. We've been watching Silver Cave Gaming for a while. Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. So now when we head up here, we have this fellow. And he is trying to give us a Pokech, um, which is kind of like kind of like an Apple Watch type thing. Um, it's going to be a big thing in our adventure through Sinnoh. And we have to find three clowns in Jubilife City, and we have to answer their questions. And here is one now. Yes, it does. <laughs> and happily, too, that's right. So we get coupons from these little clowns around the city. So we just gotta go on this tiny little fetch quest around. I know there's one up here. All right, what does he say? Pokemon can hold an item, friend. All right. Thank you, sir. And then lastly, we gotta find the third one, and he is all the way over here. Yes, moves also have types. That's where you get that same type attack bonus, baby. Yeah, I don't really know why it's clowns, but here we are. All right, so now that we have all of the coupons from the clowns, also, look at this fountain. This is a delightful fountain. We're just gonna appreciate the little things here on this channel. Let's just sit by the fountain for just a moment. 
Thank you. All right. Let's talk to this fella. Haha, -ha, bravo, I say bravo. All right, so this is a Pokemon Watch or Poketch for short. And as you can see, our bottom screen has changed. Right now, it says the time. Um, and I will show you some of the different apps that we have here. You can click on the thing on the side here. Ah, oh, and it'll change. It shows our team right there. Uh, we have a counter. Like, oh, sorry. It'll count your steps for you. And then you can clear it. Um, here's a calculator in case you need to do some number crunching. Um, and there's the time again. You can actually get a lot more apps for this thing throughout the game. Um, there are a few that will definitely uh, that will definitely grab. Um, but it's really cool. I like this feature a lot in this game, and it really uses the touchscreen feature of the DS very nicely. Um, okay, I'm gonna save again because I'm. I always be saving. Always be saving my game. Um, Alright, so what is north of town here? Anything? Um, I know that there are some Pokemon that we can catch up here. Um, I think we are kind of getting into nighttime, so things might be changing a little bit. Um, uh, here is a Badoo. Um, we just finished playing through Emerald. Badoo is actually the new baby form of Roselia. Um, and Roselia also got an evolution in this generation. So Roselia got not one, but two evolutions on either side. So Roselia is now the middle form of that line, which is really cool. I feel like it did have a lot of room to grow design-wise, and, um... That is one thing that they really did a lot of in Generation 4, was add new evolutions to Pokemon, and I think that was a really worthy one in Roselia. Um, uh, yeah, I suppose so, but I didn't tell you what it was. Um, all right, and again, we're not trying to catch a Badoo, because we have our friend um, Turtwig, so we don't really need that. Um, right now, I just kind of want to catch an insurance Pokemon, um, because we do have a little rival battle coming up here. Um, so maybe I'll just grab a Starly. Just for gigs. Just for giggles. But maybe I won't worry about it. Who knows? Okay, there's a Starly. Level 5, too. We'll go ahead and pick it up. It'll be nice to have a Pokemon that I know can fly anyway. Um, so two tackle. Maybe one more. Just get in the yellow. There we go. Ah, great little feature down here. You have the item used last little tab in your bag. And if you're throwing Pokeballs a lot like we had been trying to catch Kyogre and Groudon, you can just click that tab and throw the Pokeball again. And that'll work. What is our Starly name for a female Starly? Ethan or Arena, if you have a suggestion, I'll take yours first. Alright. And again, this Starly isn't likely to stay on our team, but please, shout out a name if you've got one. Um, let's see here. I am kind of trying to figure out what, or remember what our team's going to be and where we're going to get them. Okay. Because as you know, your boy really likes to really likes to showcase a few different things that the game has to offer. We usually always use our starter, but I don't want to use the obvious Pokemon that you can use. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, thank you! I appreciate that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyone just shout them out if you want. But, uh, what was I saying? Ah, oh, yes. Usually when I do a playthrough, at least thus far, um, I haven't been a lot uh, around for very long as a streamer, but uh, I really like to showcase a lot of what the game has to offer. Um, maybe even some like new mechanics or new things that are introduced in that generation. Um, so I kind of try to tailor my team toward that. And, you know, also try to use some Pokemon maybe I haven't used before. Melodic was like a really good... Really good example of that. Um, all right, so we don't have a name coming in, so I'm actually just going to call this Starly Inclusion because I think that's a nice concept. 
Inclusion. Everybody, be nice and include people. <laughs> Inclusion, Grandma, maybe. All right. So let's pop down here. We're going to uh, heal the squad. There we go. Your team guess. Okay. So this is what Brody thinks our team is going to be. Everybody, everybody kind of mark this down. Brody thinks our team is going to be Turtwig, Garchomp, an Evolution, a Shinx, a Buizel, and a Houndoom. Did you get close? Brody, I'm not telling you yet. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to keep it, keep it a secret a little bit. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, you got Turtwig, right? You got Turtwig, like, right for sure. Um, so here we have our rival battle. I'm going to begin with Gilbert. And we'll just see what the deal is here. Oh, hello, sir. I always remember this rival fight being a little bit difficult, so we'll we'll see how we do. And he's got his friend Starly. As you can see, we are definitely underleveled compared to him. Um, I don't predict Gilbert being a huge player here. Ooh, with a nice critical hit though. Not quite doing half, so we'll stay in. See if we can get a, get another clutch crit. Yeah, tackle's doing absolutely nothing. Alright. So Gilbert takes him down halfway. I appreciate that. Um, we'll go into Autumn. Might have to do some finagling in this battle. Maybe even use a potion. Um, and we'll definitely have to swap Autumn out at some point now, especially if he's going to ruin our attack like this. But if that's all he does, we'll be fine. All right, so now, of course, we're going to have um, the starter uh, Chimchar coming out. Yes. And here's where we'll use Inclusion, maybe lower some attack power if we can. I'm trying to get the last little sip of my tea. And our Starly, yes, our Starly has some growls going, so we can do a little bit of that. So this way, when we eventually swap over to our friend Autumn, we're going to be in decent shape. Alright, don't kill me, please. Okay, good. Um, so let's swap over to Autumn. And as you can see, we're eating that now. So he's probably going to try to take some time to lower our defenses. And hopefully our tackles can uh, catch up to him before he lowers them too much. Oh! Maybe not, if he gets a crit. Um, Alright, we'll just use a potion here, just to be safe. Alrighty. Oh, perfect. We're in good shape there. Lovely. Lovely. Um, let's see, this episode you have used the word friend more than... <laughs> hey, I mean, I guess that's nice. There we go. Oh, he's going to be the world's toughest trainer. That's what they all say. All right. So let's hop over here. Let's heal the squad again. So we actually have a lot of trainers we can kind of get to now. Um, we are kind of getting to a nice, uh, maybe a nice stopping point here tonight. Um, let's see. We'll hop over here, we'll grab this item, and we'll fight this trainer really quick. Um, ah, yes, here is a new Pokemon. Cricketot makes a beautiful little kind of xylophone noise. 
It is a weird little cricket guy, um, and it kind of famously only knows growl and bide when you first catch them. Um, it's interesting that we have not encountered one yet. Maybe uh, they only show up at a certain time, time of day. Um, but it's lovely. And it's kind of like the new regional bug. It's very similar to like a caterpie or a, or a ladybug. All right, so now it's wanting to use bite. I'll go ahead and just swap over to autumn. I'll just use a withdraw. There we go. I was about to say, we'll, we'll have enough going with autumn. Ah, and we get our first, our first beautiful grass move, and that's going to be very helpful for us in the first gym. And here's Zubat. Zubat is back. Zubat is an absolute classic. Zubat's always around, seemingly. Um, and we just keep getting confused. There we go. Third time getting confused. I don't know if we got hit that entire time of confusion. Lovely. All right. So let's snag this. Found our sales a Pokeball. All right. This isn't a trainer, right? No. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of clear some of the trainers in this route. Um, ah, it looks like we're about to find another new Pokemon. This is a very key Pokemon for this generation. This is Shinx. He is an adorable little, like, electric lion. Um, and he is a staple of playthroughs in Generation 4. Many people who play this game for the first time will use a Shinx, and that's why I didn't want to use one in our playthrough. Has some higher attack power there, as you can see. I kind of wasn't thinking too much about that. As you can see, Absorb is quite weak. We'll use one here. Great. Youngster Dallas. Um, no, my prediction. Did you? Oh, yeah, you did predict a Shinx. Yeah, we're not using one, Brody. Sorry to burst your bubble. Um, all right, let's keep on trucking here. Ba -ba. This is a fun fact. Right now it's nighttime, and you can hear this version of the music. During the day, this music will be like a key higher. Um, everything, all of the music is a bit more subdued at night in this game. So they have different tracks for day and night for each uh, location, which is really cool. A great detail in this game that I kind of forgot about until just now, and I love it. Um, let's see. Oh, the Pikachu clone. Okay, maybe. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's see what you have. Ah, I'm a chop. This is going to be terrible for Gilbert. Uh, let's go ahead and get Autumn in here. I don't. Oh, this Machop has low kick already. Yeah, we'll just be using absorbs. Love to see a critical hit here. That would be delightful. There, one more should do it. Perfecto. Doodle do 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 do. Ah, and here's that Shinx that we were looking for earlier. Ah, this Shinx does have Intimidate. That gives me an idea. We'll catch it. Um, because maybe we can use that Intimidate to our advantage. I don't know if we will train this Shinx, but that could be great. All right, do we have a Shinx name? Tom, perfect name, Ethan. Thank you. Thank you for your input. Um, all right, let's use an... Oops. Let's use another one. Okay, we have five left. 
Okay, perfect. All right. So Tom is the name here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. I appreciate it, bud. Um, oh, just a trainer. Okay. She was walking around. I didn't know if she was a trainer or not. Whoa, she's got four Pokemon. That is more than usual. I feel like every single trainer that we've fought thus far has just had one. Um, all right, a Starly. We'll use our Starly inclusion for this one. Spread the experience love just a little bit. Um, use Autumn here. Oh, I think Badoo might have Poison Point. I'm not sure. Okay, good. Oh, an Abra. Perfect. This thing cannot fight back. So let's let Tom do it. Abra. As you can see, Abra's back. Abra's in just about every Pokemon game up to this point. Um, there we go. And an easy level for Tom. The Shinx. All right. So we have one more trainer here. Let's give her a let's give her a go. All right, and she has a Psyduck. Oh, I love Psyduck. Psyduck's an absolute classic. Um, and again, we'll just turn to our friend Autumn. Autumn's really the only member of the squad that will remain long term. So let's just use him. Lovely. All right, what else we have going in here? Ooh, here is an Abra. That's fun. I'll throw a bag. Or uh, a bag? I'll throw a ball just for the heck of it. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. We're about to call it. We're about to call it. Ah. Abra gets away with its teleport. That's okay. Wow, this is... Oh, runs away anyway. So there are a couple items here. Ah, here's a Krikatot. Um, I think I'll go ahead and catch it. Do I have a Krikatot name? There we go. We're just catching a lot of these early Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> yes, Europeans can go to sleep now. <laughs> yeah, I take it you're a European? Uh, uh, potato. Love it. Perfect name. Um, po. Te. Oh, potato. I was just having so much fun with this stream. Um, alright, so we're just gonna get through this grass here. Pick up our items. We'll leave the Zubat go. There's a repel. Lovely. All right, let me just get back to the Pokemon Center. We'll get our stuff squared away here. Oops, sorry, Gilbert. All right, we'll heal the squad. And as you can see, our little uh, team photo down below is starting to grow. Um, all right, so let's, maybe. All right. All right, so here is where we will stop for the night. I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, folks, thank you for being here. A couple new faces tonight. Thank you so, so much. This has been really delightful. Um, I know people love Platinum. I'm obviously one of them. And, um, I really appreciate you being here. This has been really, really fun. Um, next time, we'll kind of get into our first uh, gym, hopefully. Maybe catch a few more uh, squad members and... Um, see what we can get into. I'm thinking we'll, I'm thinking we'll do it Saturday, um, which will be nice. And, um, thank you so much, folks. I will catch you again on the flip side. And I'm so excited to get into platinum. Peace out, kids.